That's right, Lauren and Steve. And you can see that the event is still going on with the sold out crowd now reaching the networking part, which organizers say this is all about bringing together women who are passionate about sports and business. So women leaders, how are we feeling today? There we go. It's a one of a kind opportunity in Durham. Everything you achieve in life is fundamentally determined by your thinking. Up and coming and professional women in sports gathering in one place to connect and learn from each other in what some say is an ever competitive industry, especially in North Carolina, according to Duke Athletic Director Nina King. And there's so many sports and sports adjacent companies, organizations um, in North Carolina. I mean, the field that I'm in, in, in college athletics, I mean, we've got four um, ACC universities kind of right here uh, close in this area. And then if you look at professional sports and the courage and youth sports all over our, our uh, state. It really, it's a hotbed, really, for sports. From representing HBCUs, such as NC Central Women's Softball, who just recently won a championship. Sometimes we don't always get the representation we do uh, deserve in this level of sport, and sometimes it's underfunded. To exploring different opportunities within sports, the Emerging Women in Sports Leadership Summit is meant to lift each other up. I think that they definitely, they empower themselves a lot more. I mean, just watching the growth and the investment and the enthusiasm around women's sports all around the country, um, across all genders. Uh, being interested and, and inspired uh, by female athletes competing is just, it's really great. There's a lot of momentum right now with what's going on with women in sports and women in leadership. The Durham Sports Commission wants to continue to be a part of that. There are some who are looking for a pivot and looking for a change within the sports industry and how to do that. Uh, we hope that they walk away with, with those keys and, um, and insights. And according to Menendez, there's more than 150 attendees, most of whom who are in this room. They also all got a chance to take professional headshots and the fun doesn't stop there. The summit is about to wrap up in about an hour, ending with a happy hour where the networking can continue. Reporting in Durham, Cindy Bates, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.